Hello, everybody. Welcome to another very weird little video uh, where we're going to be doing an unboxing of a an old console. This thing is, uh, oh God, about 25 years old at this point. Today, we are going to be looking at the, here we go, the NEC PC Engine Duo, aka the Turbo Graphics, uh, sorry, the Turbo Duo. Uh, this is essentially, so it, it goes by a couple different names, but the Turbo Graphics 16 had a CD add-on uh, that you could buy, similar to a Sega CD for the Sega Genesis, uh, and this was a kind of a single, a single connected release. Uh, we've got a side shot over here. It's very dark, though. Oh my god, uh, I might have to play with the light a little bit on that. It's also a very dark box. I think it'll be less of a problem once we once we get into it here. But we should jump right in. And take a look at this. Uh, by the time you see this video, there's there's gonna be some interesting time travel going on with with some of this because by now there will already have been a Turbo Duo game uh, that has gone up. I guess technically it'd be a Turbo gra a Turbo CD. Ugh. Don't like the state of what is going on. These cables have like all right. Let's some like white stuff going on on these. I don't know what that's all about. All right, we got a lot of bubble wrap. So it's the original box that someone then just kind of repacked a bunch of stuff into. So we have... Uh, so this one appears to be... It almost looks like S-Video. It's like a big... I, I don't remember what this style of connector actually is, but... It's, it's very similar to S-Video. It's one of those, like, combine everything down into one sort of deals. Oh, we have a controller. All right, so here is our controller. You can see it's got uh, some inspirations from the NES controller, I think more than anything else. Uh, or I guess NES and Famicom. Uh, get a little shot of that in there, get a little... Uh, uh, the connection on the other side actually looks a lot more like S-Video. Uh, I've actually noticed there's a, lot of, there's a lot of consoles that use this exact kind of... I don't know which angle is getting better to show this stuff off. I have the side shot just in case, but... Um, I've noticed that a lot of older consoles have this like singular S-Video style connector, which I find kind of interesting. We have our power, holy, holy, holy shit. Look at, I could bench press this. My God, that is the power adapter. Uh, 100 volt, that's all, that's all I really got out of this. This thing is a beast. If I drop this, it would destroy the table. This would absolutely, fucking annihilate the table if I drop it. So I'm going to be very careful with this. Good look. How am I going to plug this thing in? This thing, look how wide this is. This is going to take up, this is going to take up every single, I'm going to have to rearrange, literally rearrange things in the room to make this work. That's going to be a great time. Okay, uh, more bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. All right, we have a manual. Uh, that is in Japanese. So the, it's called the PC Engine in, uh, I think it's in Japan and also in PAL regions. I think they go by PC Engine. I think Turbo Graphics was uh, was an American only name. I guess I'll pull this thing out. Let's, uh, there's a there's a couple slips of paper in here too, but they don't. They seem kind of generic, like advertisey stuff. Uh, yeah, this is kind of standard fare for uh, for Japanese manuals. A couple inserts, general kind of graphical. Look at this kid right here. Whoop, I lost him. Oh no, kid. There you are. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, buddy. This kid right here. He knows what's up. He's all excited. Now let's get that out of the side there. Uh, ah, and oh, we have a little bit more here. More bubble wrap. Anything else? Nope. It's time for the big finish here. I'm worried because it's actually a very thin console. If anything, I'm surprised how, how slim it is. I was expecting a much beefier, like, the... The plug is substantially larger than the actual console is. How do I get this thing out? There we go. Dun, 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 this thing, the, I someone should edit this, edit this thing into an old Star Wars shot. Let's get these styrofoam bad boys off here. So here we go. We have. All right, this is pretty. This is pretty slick, actually. The NEC. PC Engine Duo, aka the NEC Turbo Graphics, or sorry, the Turbo Duo. Let's get a good shot of that. What angle did I pick on this table? What the hell's wrong with me? I don't know why I did it like that. 
There's some cool little, there's like a little zigzaggy thing going on over here. There's some cool design choices. I actually kind of dig this. This is a pretty good looking machine. Uh, so we have a lock button that I think keeps the CD. I'm gonna have to do some like weird. There we go. Let's get these out of out of the way over here, and I'll slide myself slightly. There we go. So we have a lock button that I assume keeps the CD tray locked in, so that if there's any like jostling or whatever, it doesn't pop open. We have the. Uh oh. Does that have to be powered? Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. It was locked. So, hey, props to the lock. So the lock literally is just a, a physical plastic stopper that gets in the way of the open button. But here's our CD tray. Pretty straightforward. I actually ordered one of these months ago, uh, but it was coming from Japan. And J in Japan, it has a very strong, like, uh, shutdown on um, any any shipments to the United States right now. There's very little that they will actually ship to the U.S., so I had to rush order a second one of these, uh, which is good too because if one of them didn't work, then I had an alternative, you know. So we have uh, we have a slot right here for I'm gonna get the name of it wrong, but it's like a, it's basically card based games. So similar, the Sega Master System had uh, what were called Master Master System cards. This one's kind of similar. You could have a physical like card that you slide in. And there's American and Japanese ones. And I'm, I'll probably put the name of those on the screen because I know that I didn't get the name right. Uh, we have what appears to be our power switch right in the front here. We have our, our controller port. There's only one controller port? That's interesting. We have, uh, similar to the Genesis, actually, we have our volume and headphone stuff on the side as well as our AV in and uh, Not in and out, just AV out. Uh, we have a power spot on the back. Yeah, I think this is only this only supports. You must need to have like a multi tap. I don't see anything on the bottom. Uh, let me check out the controller because some controllers are clever about this. Uh, uh, nope. Uh, this, so there have been some controllers in the past where. I, look, I like look all hunched over here. Some controllers for, for systems will actually have like a controller in like built into the plug or something. So you can just kind of daisy chain them together. I think that's how... Oh boy, was it the, uh, the ColecoVision? Some of the old ones from like the 80s did that. Oh no, no, hang on. I'm, I'm mixing that up with... Because um, the ones from the 80s really didn't have like swappable controllers. But there are, there are some that will like allow you to daisy chain them together. This is not one of them. So... We only get one controller, which is fine, because what we're looking at is going to be one player only anyway. Uh, but we have select and run. Were they nervous about using start as a... as a? Get a shot of that in there. I don't know if they were anxious about using start as a button. But, okay. Well, why don't we take a look at a game real quick? We already... So by the time you guys see this, we'll already have looked at Adventure Quiz Capcom World. But there's another game on the same disc... That's actually one of two different sequels to Adventure Quiz. So uh, let's take a quick look at that. Okay, so this was an unexpected sort of screenshot to run into here. I, I for, for a second, I thought that like this was some kind of weird emulated thing. And just because like this is such a strange... I've never turned on a system... Like, okay, obviously there's some systems, starting with like the PlayStation era, I guess, where you turn on the game. I guess GameCube as well. You turn on the game and then you have like kind of a home menu, but I've never seen one where you turn it on and it just says, all right, now press start to go. Um, all right, let's hit the run button. Oh, that's so strange. Okay. Oh. Okay. That was actually kind of smooth. Okay. Um... So I'm going to choose, so we're going to be coming back to the, we will all have, all have already checked out Adventure Quiz Capcom World. But we're going to be checking out this one right here, which is Adventure Quiz 2 Hatena no Daiboken. Uh, I have no idea how the switches on this controller work, because there's like two three-point switches above the one and two buttons. Oh. Push run button! Oh, oh Okay. Uh, so this is a quiz game based off of... Okay, that has characters from the... I guess it's uh, Kamen no Ninja Hanamaru. Oh my god. Uh, and that's a side-scrolling Capcom game 
from... Whoop, I hit right and it said two, so... I don't know what is going on here. So up, down, left, and right must be... Oh, left and right, and then maybe two and one? There we go. Okay, so left is one, right is two, the two button, which is on the left, is three, and then the one button that's on the right is four. So going left to right across the gamepad, it's it's uh, left, right, two, one for our... Okay, I hit run, and I guess I'm going again. So I guess that was my game over, and it's just like, yeah, you have you have more credits to. So we're we're in a very similar situation to uh, oh god to um, Adventure to Save the World, the the Mega Man Legends Taiwanese game. My god, we're gonna we're never gonna get through any of these. I just want to see what happens if we get beyond like. So all right, I guess the the point of this video is more to be kind of a demo of the Turbo Duo. And this isn't the the best example to give, but it's also the only turbo. The, this is the only Turbo Duo game that I have. I normally am a lot better about making sure that I've got something else to uh, to show off. Oh my god, I have the worst luck right now. Holy hell! Am I gonna? I I I've gotten what two questions right this entire time. Now, granted, there's four there's four possible answers for every give for every given question. So like. Alright. Seems like three has been the right answer an inordinate number of times. Oh, did we make it? We did it? Point clear! Okay. Pff, sure. I got a T. They got T! So does that mean I have to get four questions right? Alright. Nice. Okay, here we go. We got our luck back. Alright. Yeah! Boom! Three for three. Okay, there are four. Okay, so the number that it shows is the number of questions you have to answer. Uh-oh. There we go. Nice. I guess the question cards in the bottom are your hit points? Or maybe that's the blue on the... I think the blue on the top is... Well, I'll have to pay more attention when we get to our next one here. Okay. Man, I really wish I spoke Japanese. Hey, nice. All right. Oh, it was five here. We're in trouble. Okay. So there's five gray things on the top. We had two question marks. Now we're down to one on the bottom. So I think that's our hit points. And on the top, yeah, the gray ones become blue when we get them right. Okay. Ranking. I was like, uh, what's happening here? Well, we got the top score, I guess. Let's do... P... A... D. Yay! Alright, let's give this another go, since we... That was a pretty short little run there. Game over! Ooh, it's a sweet little fade effect. So yeah, uh, so the idea for us doing this one is more to show off the Turbo Duo... Uh, and this is some smooth gameplay. I actually quite like what I'm seeing here. Um, it also is sitting very nicely. We, so we're doing this in widescreen, and I'm noticing that, like, maybe it's that it's stretching out the video or something, but it looks pretty at home on the, uh, oh. I don't know what that just was. Was that good? Lucky point for two. A high. Oh, can I get a one-up if I get a question right? Oh. Oh, well, okay. There we go. Oh, four, two. The four, you, instead of four options, we now have two options. That makes sense. Oh, God. Well, I wasted all that, but I got a one-up, so that's good. All right. I kind of just want to see if I can get to, like, a boss. Because I think there's, like, a boss fight quiz, essentially. Alright, that should do it, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, wow, I might actually have to get some, uh, some Turbo Duo games.
this is a very smooth gameplay experience. Um, so, if I remember correctly, one of the big purposes, I guess, of the Turbo Duo was that it could do arcade ports uh, really well. I think. I think that was the idea. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, we're using one of our six credits here. Oh my god. I don't know the first thing about, like, I know, like, three Japanese characters. And so I am totally lost trying to, uh, get these right. Oh my god. It's weird how much the music changes. I'm sure that there's, like, a tonal reason for it, but... So it seems like it calms down when you have more health. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Give me another one. Nope. Okay. So at least it doesn't take out... I... Yeah, I don't know. I was like, which, which of these is recognizable? Uh, so it doesn't remove the questions you got right when you, when you, um, when you had a credit there. Also, I noticed this game has two-player support, even though the console itself only has one port. I think that's supposed to be, like, if you have the separate consoles, I think it has multiple inputs, but this one only has the one. Uh, let's do that. Lucky! Is that another extra life? That sounds pretty good. Uh-oh. Versus B. Oh no, I'm fighting a sperm genie. I don't know what I just answered. Uh. Okay. Okay. Is there extra life? <laughs> I assume the answer wasn't going to be 70 again if they were putting it in the question. Other than that, I had nothing to go off of there. Alright. Nope. Uh... Yay! Okay. We do... What was that? Why did we get a little... We got a little jingle jangle. Ah, damn it. Uh, come on, man. Cool. I don't know what that is. It looks like a grading system for schools or something. I don't know. Uh, damn. All right, last credit. Here we go. No, come on. There we go. Okay. Now what happens as we leave the fortress? Okay. Neat. All right, Sperm Genie, what's up? Something six. Clear. Okay. I guess we beat him. <laughs> All right, four questions here. I think we're gonna get a game over here as well. Just a just a wild guess. I. Right, okay. No? Okay. Oh, man. Well, that's all right. This was meant to be more of a demo, again, as of the system. I think we're going to be... Hey, even, I did even better than last time. Uh, so, now that I've done this, I'm going to go back and play Adventure Quiz Capcom World, which you guys will have already seen by now, because time is confusing. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I guess we'll come back next time for a little something slightly different. Get on it. Once again, back is the incredible. Get on it. Get up. Once again, back is the incredible. Wake up, man.